keys that control revival prayer and fasting it will never change it has never changed pray in the morning pray in the afternoon pray in the evening let every home become a house of prayer pray with your children pray with your husband pray with your wife pray with your workers businesses pray companies pray industries pray members of parliament pray listen to me i charge every father here you are not just a father because you provide bread you are a father if you lead prayers not just participate in the prayers lead it show your children how to be a spiritual man listen i look forward to times in south africa where a family may be it's night time and they've gone to bed and they hear the voice of their father as the priest of the house from the living room to the kitchen and you open the door and lay hands on your children when they wake up you say no sleep i'm performing my priestly duty you sleep i'm awake for you let me see the devil that comes to destroy your children when you are a man of prayer let me see the devil that comes to destroy your business when you are a man of prayer instead of complaining pray instead of complaining pray the same energy it takes to complain is the same energy it takes to pray can i tell you this an attack on your prayer life is a real attack let me repeat south africa an attack on your prayer life is a real attack don't give excuses and say i am busy when you are sick and down everything you are trying to do you will not be able to do again don't let the devil destroy your territory let him know there are priests in south africa fortify the spiritual borders of your territory be the watchman on the wall stand he says i have set watchmen every pastor here you must get to a time where you lock the church and you are the only one there i'm here what i'm telling you i'm teaching you secrets in the kingdom lock your church and be the only one there no usher no protocol just you and god lord for your glory lord for your purposes can i tell you this if you give your children a good degree and you don't give them god and transfer priesthood you did not complete your investment in them don't just give them education give them spirituality don't just give them education give them spirituality the priesthood ministry of prayer we got into this work by prayer we have been preserved by prayer please hear me if you do not fast you will remain weak the good old school art of fasting has been the key to strength and stamina in the spirit this kind goeth out not but by prayer and fasting there are issues that you need to confront with prayers and fasting fasting does not kill turn that plate upside down and come before god please sit down this is supposed to be a charge preserving the move of God pastors let me give you an advice be careful with the deception of being busy in ministry be careful when sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you he will allow so many invitations to come into your life there is a skill to honoring so many invitations and still remaining on fire i am busy and busy has destroyed many people you must learn to wake up in the night use your nights 
when people are asleep and there's no distraction you wake up you are hearing a report in your job that is not pleasing carry your cv and drop it on the ground someone tells you in the office over my dead body for you to rise don't fight him go back to your control room hear me james 5 15 please let's hurry up we came to church this morning james chapter 5 and verse 15 hmm. <laughs> james 5 verse 13 i meant to say 13 please read one to read is any among you afflicted what is the cure let him pray The moment you find out that there is any form of affliction, your first port of call is not to discuss. call people who cannot help you there is a control room that we have the advantage of priesthood you can manipulate realities to be consistent with the word of god when you know to pray how do you think we rise in this kingdom in the midst of wickedness how do you think we rise how are you going to call partners to your ministry dear man of god it won't be by giving invitations right from where you are your kingdom come your will be done and right now i pray those who have been called into the ministry of prophetic intercession i stretch my hands over you may that grace come upon you right now may that grace come upon you deborah's arise elijah's arise men and women of power some of you from this conference you will start prayer groups prayer chains prayer chains across territories in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. You are in ministry here. Please sit down. You are in ministry. Let me give you an advice. There are two departments you should supervise yourself. Number one is your worship team. Your worship team. You must put an eye on them by yourself. Because when the ministry of psalmistry dies in your ministry, you are in trouble. Number two, the prayer department. Every man of God must be a member of his prayer department. Whether you have the time to physically be there or not, you must connect in the spirit. Pray for me, pray for me will make you a weak man. You want to preserve? Listen, let me tell you this. Apostle Felix.
teaching and here's what he said he said when a spirit leaves a man listen carefully that that spirit goes through dry regions is it in your bible and he said seeking for a place of refuge you will find none and he will say i will go back he's still calling that man my house i will go back to my house and he finds the house swept clean but empty now look up let me share with you a mystery the demon did not just leave the man by default it was casted out by an agency of god's power is that true but it goes to the wilderness where there is no prayer warrior and no one to cast it and yet it is uncomfortable there what makes it uncomfortable i found out that the desert is very hot the heat there in the desert can make that demon uncomfortable and without any man casting it it will leave the desert and choose to come back to you that means if your body can become like that desert if that fire that burns within you if that fire that is in that temple can burn like the desert every spirit every cause every charm every yoke every spell will let you go listen now jesus said my house shall be called the house of prayer that house is not just a building you are that temple that house if you are not the house of prayer you will become a den of robbers so satan will come to that house which is you since you are not a house of prayer he will steal your joy he will steal your faith he will steal everything he can steal